All right, I flipped it over and that looked like that was a pretty good idea because it had really bulged out on the underneath side or the inside. So I heated it up, pushed it back down flush and it looks very good now. So I learned it seems to be kind of better if you just kind of move the foot back and forth rather than hold it in a stationary place for too long because it'll in fact just burn a hole right through your material. Alright, so I'm just trying to smooth this out. I can see it's starting to warm it up pretty good here. Now I just see a hole, not a hole, but an indentation that I would really like to fill. But I'm kind of having difficulty pushing that rod down in the, the little boot hill, boot here. Well, here's my rod. So let me just try this again. Let me push it down in here. Oh, there's a glob. So that's pretty good. There we go. That's what we're talking about. So it just kind of fills up that hole a little bit. Let me put this in here again. Push a little more out. Ah, there we're talking. This is what I think I need to do. Okay, just getting a little bit more control. There's definitely a feel to this. It's not the most uh, beautiful thing here in the world, but it's better. I kind of do this because then I could see that it's melted and I'll just pull it out and I'll have a little bit there. At least I think I have a technique that's that seems to be working here. All right. And just make sure the edges seem to be pretty well blended in. You know, the way it melted through the whole material, I think this is going to work very well. I was kind of concerned that I would still have a hairline crack. But with this tool, it just melts the whole material into one piece again. So, again, it, this can be used with any kind of uh, polyethylene. It sounds like any kind of general plastic welding, polypropylene. But I bought this one specifically for polyethylene because that's the material that this was made out of.